Namaste guys, Rajesh here for Namaste Tech and in this video, I am going to show you how you can install Lineage OS 15.1 that is based on Android 8.1 Oreo on your Android device. The steps that I will be showing here will also be applicable for Lineage OS 15 that is based on Android 8.0 Oreo. The official builds for Lineage OS 15.1 that is based on Android 8.1 have not started yet but if you are on a relatively popular device, chances are you will find an unofficial build for it over on XDA forums. So the steps that I will be showing here will work for both Lineage OS 15 as well as Lineage OS 15.1. But before we jump over to the steps, there are a few things that you need to know. First, I am only going to show you how to install Lineage OS in this video. I will not be showing how to root your Android device or unlock its bootloader in this video. This is something that you will have to do beforehand if you wish to install Lineage OS on your Android device. Second, create a backup of all your data on the device. Installing Lineage OS will completely wipe clean your device of any and all data. So it's recommended that you create a backup of all your important data. Third, and this goes without saying, make sure to head over to XDA forums and read the ex and read the Lineage OS 15 or 15.1 thread for your device and make sure to know what all bugs and stability issues are present in the room before you start with the flashing procedure. Lineage OS 15.1 is still in early stages of development so it does lack a few features that were present in Lineage OS 15 or Lineage OS, or Lineage OS 14. However, it's a matter of time before these features once again make their way back to Lineage OS 15.1. So with everything out of the way, let's now start with the steps. Now make sure to download and transfer the Lineage OS 15 or 15.1 ROM file and the accompanying Google Apps package to your Android device. Then proceed to boot it into recovery mode. But depending on your device, the process will involve switching it off first and then pressing a combination of keys which will involve the volume up and down buttons and the power button. I'm using the OnePlus 5T here on which I need to press and hold the volume down and the power button simultaneously for a few seconds to boot it into recovery mode. Now in case you get a prompt from TWRP recovery saying that your system partition is unmodified, make sure to swipe the arrow at the bottom to allow for modifications. Then before you head over to installing Lineage OS 15, you first need to wipe clean your data partition of your existing data. For this, tap the wipe option and then select the format data option. You will have to type in yes to confirm your selection. This needs to be done because by default, the data partition is encrypted and TWRP will not be able to read it. So you will have to wipe it clean to ensure that it is readable by the recovery. Once done, head back to the main menu of TWRP, tap the reboot option followed by recovery. Your phone will then reboot back into TWRP. From here, once again, swipe the arrow at the bottom to allow for modifications. Now at this point, your phone's internal storage is completely empty. And now you will need to transfer the Lineage OS ROM file and the Google Apps file to the internal storage of your device. For this, head over to the mount option and make sure to enable MTP, where it will be automatically be recognized as a storage device. From there, proceed to transfer the ROM files to the internal storage of the device. With the ROM file transferred, tap on install and then select the Lineage OS 15 zip file. Confirm your selection by swiping the arrow at the bottom to the right. This will then install Lineage OS 15 or 15.1 on your Android device. The process will take around a minute or two. In case it fails for any reason whatsoever, drop us a comment below and we'll help you out. Once installed, Tap the reboot system button. Once again, if TWRP prompts you to install the TWRP app, select the do not install option. Now the first boot after installing Lineage OS 15 or 15.1 will take some time. So be patient. Secondly, after the phone boots, you will not find the usual suite of Google apps and services. That's because you are yet to install Google apps on your device. Many people actually prefer to flash Lineage OS and the Google apps zip file back to back but I have seen that it can lead to some stability issues after the first boot. So what I recommend people to do is to first install Lineage OS 
boot that device into the OS and then again go back to recovery mode to flash the Google Apps zip package. So as you can see, my OnePlus 5T has now booted into Lineage OS 15.1 that is based on Android 8.1 Oreo and it's running the January 5 security patch as well. Anyways, now I need to install Google Apps on my device. For that, I need to switch off my phone and head back into recovery. Now repeat the steps that I've shown, but instead of flashing the Lineage OS zip file, select the Google Apps zip package. So that's it for this video guys. I hope you liked it. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more such videos and do share this video with your friends. And don't forget to like this video. Thanks for watching.